socks tonight. Yeah, Dick. What's... Well, that's a statement right there. You gotta love that. Look at those shoes. They match the team color. What kind of shoes are those? Those are... I really like that brand. Oh, the Irishman gets the ball in the Oh, we don't know that. It's just his name. No, never mind. Smith dribbling quickly. Carry over. Oh! Carry over is meant for cooking, not basketball, people. All right, in case you don't know, carry. A carry is called when you dribble the ball and your hand goes under the ball to dribble it. That's illegal. Can't do that. Sorry. Is that the same as palmy? Yeah. Right. That might be the old term. Yeah, that might be the 1916. That's, that's before your time. Well, in the fourth quarter, we got a 51 to 31 score, as you can see. Probably with a 20 point lead. And unfortunately, it looks like our guest speaker might not show up. Now, Francis, let me tell you something here. All these students you see on the court now for Howard are just finished midterm week. Okay, what's, what's that mean to refresh our memories? Well, uh, that's like the second biggest test of the year. I mean, it's a two hour test. Oh, McKenzie. Looks pretty good there, Francis. Trail had a lot of their mind, yet they're still playing basketball. You gotta love that. Smith gives it to Parker now. Parker looks. Griffith. That's uh, John Griffith. Smith the ball. Free ball for him. There we go. That's scored by Jeremy Hatch. A dead dribble. Smith is wide open. Not anymore. So you can see a little bumping going on. Oh, fighting. It's okay, so you can have it. Smith really with it. An attitude problem today. He's pumping into everybody. It's gonna be Collins shooting too. Liam? Liam's getting a little bit uh, out of control. He's getting a little squirrely, yeah. Well, his uncle is here tonight, so maybe he's trying to show up. Well, you know, no matter what he's doing, he's scoring points, and that's all that matters. He's a good basketball player, and you know, can't argue with the results, can you? <laughs> Alright, so what do you think of my uh, my corny ESPN phrases I'm throwing everyone to? I like them? I have They sound better from Stuart Scott, you know? I, or, or, or Chris Berman. Well, uh, I'm a big believer in keeping to the fundamentals. Parker with ball now. Dribble. Gives it to Griffin. It's gonna be a foul. My life is feeling threatened right now. This song's going crazy. I don't, I don't share that sentiment. I, I feel, I'm secure and feel safe. I pack in heat though. Oh, so you brought the camping stove with you today, huh? Oh yeah. Dude, Are you referring to your car's temperature? <laughs> It overheats. Anyway, back to the game. Rebounded by Parker. Looks to Adet. Adet to Griffin. Tough defense here by number 21. Who's that? That would be Jordan Hodge. On the line for Harwood. John Griffin. Good. Ooh, makes the first one. That means he gets one freebie. And he calls in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Plus shipping and handling. Oh, makes a bull. He's going to give Harley a 54 to 35 advantage. Go get 
Denikis has got the ball. Gives to Drew Jones. Hodge with the shot now. Smith with the rebound. Show. Blocks being called by, uh, I want to go back. Dylan I want to go back to these shoes. These are. I have never seen shoes like this before in my life. You know, I like them. I think they go. They go well with your ensemble, though, Francis. I mean, look at those socks. That is just a fashion statement right there. It's foggy as hell. Pretty. Thanks, Brady. You're, you're such a great person. All right. We got number 21 with a shot and it makes it in. That's Jordan Hodge. His name's starting to show up a lot on. Ooh. Coach Drake really yelling out things now. Griffin dribbling the ball. Tries to drill the lane, got nothing there. Stops, thinks about it a little while. Gives it to Jones. Jones to hide that. To Smith. To Griffin. Griffin drives the lay. Oh, what do we got? Oh, now, hey, uh, let's get a shot of the, the Oxbow coach for a moment. Really starting to get steamed over there. Seems to be holding his groin. He may have a groin injury. And you know, uh, What's kind of funny? Ray Drake is sitting over there laughing. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's, let's see Ray here. Well, not anymore. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Now he's, whoa, whoa. he's having a conversation with uh, Ben Spittle over there on the bench. Maybe he's going to come in and we can see a little hit. Jaw boning, jaw boning the ref never helped. Ooh, we just gave him the hand, too. Talk to the hand, because I ain't smart enough to listen. Ooh. Who is that? Oh, uh oh. 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 It's going to be Griffin for a shot. Sinks it. So now he gets, once again, 1-3 if he calls in the next 20 minutes. Oh, and there's his phone call right there. Oh, makes a shot. He gets free shipping and handling on that one. And did you notice he forgot something on that shot? The ball. It's time for Logan's basketball tips. If you're going to shoot a basketball, make sure it's in your hands. This was your... On the line for Oxbo. Oh yeah, and that's uh, number 24, Jeremy Hatch, as I already said. Second shot, off, rebound by Parker. Oh, wow. Now, I mean, friends, if you can get a shot of the scoreboard right now on the fouls, particularly, it went from six and three to seven and ten. I think Osbo is starting to lose the game for themselves, all these fouls. On the, on the field for Harwood, number 20. <laughs> That's uh, Ben Spittle, as we were talking about. He's a junior at a Harvard Union High School. He enjoys music and driving his car. <laughs> there you go, Francis. Wow. 21 drives the lane. It's Jordan Hodge, and you know, I think Harwell forgot to play defense on that one. Griffin goes down the court, gives to Parker for three, ooh, uh, by a 
Miller point. Rivers gets the rebound though in the end. Okay, they're gonna run play one in case you're keeping track. Doing a little traffic track in there. Gives it to Smith. Smith to Parker. Parker drives the lane. Travis. I disagree with that one. Number <laughs> 10 has the ball. That's Derek Baker, but time out is called. Friends, if you get a shot of the fans tonight, I'm going to show you the fan devotion over there. Well, sure, in a second. We got two minutes and 19 seconds left. Harwood, 56. Oxbow, 40. You want a fan shot? Yeah, get, get, get a nice fan of the Harwood fans over there. They got a lot of No, no, the far bleachers there. There you go. Let's see how those devoted fans that come here every night pay a one dollar fee, which goes to where they go. Okay, there, nice little stand. Players, and former players, players, students of all ages. Middle schoolers there. High schooler. Alright. Now, you know, one thing that's kind of unacceptable with these games is you can hear heckling of the ref. You know, refs are, have a hard job, and I think fans need to keep their. Uh, never mind. Back to the game. So, in for Harwood, number 13. Number 13, and that would be. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Number 13 is Andrew Bell. Andrew Bell. Okay, that's Steve Griffith with the inbound, I think. Yes. To Parker. All right. Uh, I think it's time the rest. Yeah, I think it's time the rest take the whistles out of their mouth. Okay, it's uh, Jerry Mullins on the inbound, Griffith. Mullins to Spittle. To Mullins, to Griffith. And it looks back to Mullins. To Bell. To Spittle, nice shot. Oh! What a shot by Spittle. Just short of the three pointer though. Number 20 with a shot, misses. Number 20, and that would be Drew Jones for Oxbow. Maybe they've got the ball. We're gonna start wasting some clock here, most likely. Jones the ball, puts it up. Two of the two points, Harwin now leads 60 to 40. Dylan Hayward coughs it up and gets it back. Steve Cope passes to the points of Dylan Hayward. 56 seconds left to call. Collins is in for Jones. Parker came out. 56 seconds left. Howard leads 60 40. Hayward with the first one. Out. Spittle with the ball. Beats the Griffith and coughs it up. To Hayward. Hayward passes to Michael. Double dribble. Damn. Now I think I need to explain the rule, double dribble rule. Okay, it's gonna be number 11, Derek O'Donnell. 
the inbound. Inbounds to number 22, Jones. Andrew Bell feels it. Open the ball, out of bounds, it's good. Purple's ball. Francis, you quieted down. Nothing to say about this game right now? Well, uh, oh, stripped away by Mullins. To Spittle. Sorry, I didn't give you a chance to talk. To Bell. To Spittle. Spittle with the shot. Ah, oh, by an inch. Harwood wins another one. It was nice to see the Harwood bench come on and uh, get a few minutes of playing time. It's always good to see the bench, you know, because I'm on the bench most of the time. It's always fun to go play. Really, it really gives me a nice understanding of the game. Stay tuned for the post game report. Here the Channel 42 post game report. I am Logan Cook. Final score of this game tonight was 62 to 40 in favor of Harwood. Let's look at the leaderboard for tonight's game. Leading the pack with 21, of course, Ben Parker, star of the team. Great game tonight. He's hit the three pointers from everywhere. Next, John Griffin. John Griffin had 17 points, tons of three pointers. I lost count in like the second quarter. And then you got Liam Smith, always saw him with 13 points. That is your Howard Post Game Report. Hope to see you next time. I am Logan.
said six to ten Here we go once again So let's go rent a video Snuggle in bed with Kahlua and Coco And have our own little old Mardi Gras in Vermont You and me were meant to be In some tropical fantasy But we never ever ever seen to find a way to go Oh, 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 oh. Seems like walk on a beach just out of reach, yeah. But I'm not complaining, no, no. Cause inside I'm singing, I'm having my own little micro. Hey, what's that? We got no Kahlua. Honey, no, I'm not going out tonight. I'm sorry. Just look out the window, honey. I think we got freezing rain. You must think I got no brain. Hey, what'd you rent on the video? Oh, it's blaming me. There's more babies born in November babies in Vermont. Yeah, it's good. Must be grown in Vermont, yeah. Come on inside, hold on inside, grow. Do the whole of something, son of a baby. I like the way I feel it. think I'm lucky cause it looks like you're such a good friend of mine If they only knew what you put me through honey almost all the time What goes down comes around you know it's coming back to you Sooner or later babe you know it's gotta come back home When my friends are around you never put me down You wait till we're all alone Instead of talking to me You always watch that TV Talking on the phone I don't think it's funny How you spend all my money Then you throw me a bone Sooner or later, babe You know it's gotta come back home Head of swimming. Oh, we need a new beginning. Oh, yeah. to you when I'm eating crow Some good looking guy come up and give you the eye then I'll watch you wrong Sooner or later babe you know it's gotta come back home She's the kind of woman always gets the ups on me But she don't believe I got the guts to leave, we'll see. 
You will see. Yeah. This kind of situation always ends up bad. When I try to hold on to something that I never really had. But she's gonna cry when I say bye bye and she's all alone. Soon or later, babe, you know it's gotta come back home. It's got to come back home. Sunset, some taller than the rest. The new year is upon us, snow covers everything. But the crocus and the daffodil will still come back in spring. Kitty smile, kitty smile. Thank you. 